the Joe Rogan experience. Um, I wanted to talk to you about social media. Okay. Because I, I love you. I love I think, you too. I think you're a very good guy. I really do. But you are the worst representative of yourself on social media. I'm a bad it's, warrior it's, it's of myself. A, it's a bad form of getting out tricky ideas. It's a bad form. It's just right. not good. I mean, now it's, what is it, 280 now, 280 characters? It's better than it was. 140 was r very rough. Like 140, you'd have to... You know, you have to really think about what you're saying. It's like you're yelling, like as you're falling into a well. You yeah. have like one sentence, but you you are without a doubt addicted. And I know you bailed yeah. on your phone for a while, and you went to a flip, flip phone. phone. Yeah, but I see these manic tweets from you, and I, I just want to go hang out with you and go, dude, what are you doing? Like, yeah. why are you constantly tweeting and g attacking people and? It's like sometimes the chaos helps me. You're right. I mean, you're right. Right. <laughs> like I'm not challenging that statement, but like I see it as almost like an idea sonar where you're just like, I I get that. I get yeah. that, but I get that because I know you and yeah, I know yeah, you're yeah. a really good dude in real life. Thanks, man. So when I see this online and I I see these blurting outpost, just outbreak posts, they're just. They're just like, blah, like you got <laughs> mental diarrhea. I mean, just let me see if I can throw the word nigger in here for a goof. Let me see if I can, right. you know, say something that's going to piss people off. And it's just, there's this weird thing you're doing, like this Jesselneck thing. Like you just yeah. decided to attack Anthony Jesselneck. No, I'll tell you this. Did he attack you? No, what happened was someone said that uh, they had heard I, he said I was alt-right, which mm -hmm. is like the new insult. People can believe that. They no. could believe that you were alt-right. But if, if but someone tells them it's and like they show, read one right. of your outrageous tweets, just right. one or two of them, they would go, oh, this guy's an alt-right comedian. And then they see you with certain people that you've had podcasts with and talked to that might also be lumped in. You mean ridiculously so, like Jordan Peterson. They lump him into alt-right. Right, right. No, I got you. It doesn't make any sense, but they do it. Yeah. Like, I mean, look, I've had people on that people think are alt-right. I mean, people, this, people are fucking crazy. I mean, there's people out there that think Ben Shapiro is anti-Semitic. I mean, that's how that's how nutty oh, people are. Oh, I know. Are. There's no there's no logic Nazi. at all. Like right now, Martin Luther King Jr. would be considered alt right by certain crazy people. He would probably have adjusted his views, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, his views had probably changed, knowing all that we know about people today. And I mean, he would be a different person. You got to think that guy growing up in the 1950s, and then you know being into the 60s as uh, the most important civil rights activist of all time, he was dealing with a completely different world, man. I mean, yeah. there was no social media. There was, the, there was not much consolidated power. It was probably very difficult to get people to march once they started sicking dogs on people and blowing fire hoses on them. I mean, you had to be, you, you had less protection then. You Way had to less. Be, he'd had to be more, more rigid and conservative then, just because people would have to be, like, just very careful. I mean, that's like... You know, we, we talked about this recently. I guess it was with, was it Daniele Bolelli we were talking about? About how recently slavery was. Was it him? Was it Daniele? Might have been. Either way, um, it's, that's a crazy small amount of time. It's crazy. Like 200 years ago. And it's been existed for like th tens of thousands of years. And that there's more slavery in the world today because there's more people alive. Today. Yeah. It's kind of tricky. But there's less percentage of people that are slaves. Right. Know? So but, it's kind of misleading when people say there's more sl slavery. There's way more people. That's a good point. Yeah. There's, there's more, more everything. Way, 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 way more people. And there's way more crazy people, and now they all have internet access. Yeah, because I was looking at this thing where they were trying to trace. You know, you've heard about that um, new species of human that they found, I think, around somewhere in the range of uh, seven or eight years ago. Denosians, I think they call them. They, they found them in Russia. And what they are is, um, you know, when there was Neanderthal and Homo sapien, there was another one. And then this other one um, bred. There was, apparently they think there was many different kinds of humans. Oh, yeah, for sure. But what the th thing that fucking freaked me out, they were talking about how long ago this was, like 70,000 plus years ago, that... They were, they were talking about one era, and then they were talking about the amount of people that were alive then, and they said something around the area of 100,000 humans. Total amount. That's, that's like on, That's on the 405 right now. Just fuck that. On the 405 <laughs> between here and, like, yeah. West Hills. Yeah. Probably more. Probably and that's more why people. we have such a, a vicious uh, instinct. Yeah. Because at that point, it's just... I think it got down to, like, 10,000 people at one point. Yeah, that or was just, what I was reading the article about. It was also talking about... Um, 
in Sumatra, and we talked about this recently, there was a gigantic super volcano that blew up. Right. And it fucked the earth up for like a thousand years. And we had to survive that. Yeah. And now we're trying to survive Twitter storms, but we have those same instincts, the same instincts that are like, if, if you can't eat your dog right now, right. you're going to die. Right, right, Oh, so right. anyway, with the Jesnick thing, uh, so, what happened? so I just went on his, and he had already blocked me, and I had, had never written anything to him. So I, just, right. so I just posted that and said he, got, he has liposuction in his ass, because I thought that was funny. Because I didn't want to go too big. I was like... But why even do that? Like, who gives a shit if he blocks you? I, I just thought it was funny. Right, but you're attacking him publicly. This is the thing. It's like you have, like, how many thousands of Twitter followers you have like 120,000 that's a lot of fucking people so a, a lot but he's a strong man like there's dudes that have messed with me but, way but even crazier if he's recently. a strong man like that's got a sting there's got to be like this disturbance of peace and tranquility for no reason just because he blocked you You're yeah like, what do you give a shit if you block? I hope you block Jeselna I like you go block me buddy I love him. He's a good guy. <laughs> he's a great he's, joke writer. He's a funny guy, man. This is the problem. Is that like I'm a colleague of his. I'm at the comedy store with him all the time. Yeah. We go on back and forth next to each other all the time. And you know, there's like you should attack someone when they do something really bad. But see, I'm, but you know I, what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Like the sheath sword until you absolutely need it. Yeah. I'm all about that. And I I wasn't like full attack mode though. That's I, I pretty I was attack being, mode. I was being playful. The war has started. You're talking about <laughs> him getting liposuction, talking about him being gay, and you're talking about uh, you said a bunch of different well, things. Well, no, about but that's him. after he said I was alt. In response, he said that I'm an alt right, third rate piano comic, and I was like, dude, I just did a, a liposuction joke. Mm. It, but the right, thing but, is, I'm not even mad at the guy at all. Like, but I, one then you again do a terrible job of representing yourself. Then. That's a good point because it seems to me, even I had a text you. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I know. And by the way, this? I just want to give you a compliment. Uh, I love that you're more critical offline. Like you're one of the few people right now in this world that's like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? I love, you. but online. You're chill. Well, and so many people are the opposite. They attack online and apologize in the DM. And you're, I just want to say that that's good leadership qualities. Oh, well, that's very <laughs> nice of you. But I'm not trying to be a leader. I just try to be a, a good person. I think right. if you, you have an issue with someone, you should, do, you should talk to them in person if you can, if not on the phone. But that one-on-one, -on -one, like this idea that you should automatically blurt out what you think about someone's public mistakes to the rest of the world to state your position like there was a lot of the request to state your position after louis ck got in trouble right right I, don't, right I have no idea what actually happened if if the, the way the women are telling it is 100 percent true then i am i think it's fucking gross and disgusting and i'm sad i'm sad that he had that in his head that he wanted to do that i'm sad that the girls had to experience it it's an uncomfortable thing but i don't know that and i've heard stories about people thinking it was funny too you know, there's a, there was like this weird thing going on. The tribal stuff, where it's like, yeah. what side of the, what side are you on? But people were like, this the Louis C.K. instance was the first instance that I can recall where people were demanding a response, like a public response about something. Well, I noticed that in entertainment with Trump, it's like the lack of talking about Trump is now seen as endorsements. Like right. when, when Taylor Swift just didn't get involved in the chaos people were calling her like alt-right <laughs> yeah man it's it's there's so many people just waiting waiting to pull the trigger and they're doing so in such a fucking insane and ridiculously misrepresentative way there was uh, something about Jordan Peterson man Jordan Peterson um, going to speak somewhere and there was these people sending emails that he was a Nazi and a oh, fascist yeah. and a racist and transphobic and just but they're just hurling these nuclear bombs of words with literal literally no were no thought whatsoever about the consequences of using these words to describe someone who's absolutely clearly not that of okay? course I, it's when so, someone can't argue on another side they just that's how they shut down the conversation it is, but here's my point is that it elevates Elevates this manic misrepresentation of reality because they've agreed to not look at it realistically they've agreed who cares if he's not a Nazi we're gonna fucking call him a Nazi and in doing that you've you you're you're escalating what's like if there's a mob mentality right it's part of what's going on one of the things that happens in mob mentality is if people start murdering people yeah. you jump in 
Right. Okay? If people are killing people and you're trying to get away and the guy's running at you with a knife, you're going to fucking kill him. That's what people do. It's, it's a normal thing. It happens with mob mentality, too. It happens this, with this, these kind of arguments. The same kind of thing. People can just decide they don't care if you're right. They're going to call you a fucking racist. They're going to call you a Nazi. They're just going to keep saying it until you believe it 100%. Like this fucking Nazi. Oh, Nazis. Jesus, it's Kurt Metzger, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>